The Idaho Division of Veterans Services operates the Idaho Veterans Homes in Boise, Pocatello, Lewiston, and another is on the way in Post Falls. Right now, our veterans share bedrooms and they share bathrooms within those facilities. Um, for us, uh, that $75 million is, is honestly the, the single biggest quality of life improvement that we can actually make. Uh, for our veterans that we take care of in those skilled nursing homes. IDVS would use the $75 million funds to renovate their current facilities, providing veterans with their own rooms and bathrooms, something Mark Shample says will help these homes fight back against infectious diseases like COVID-19. So it's been tough. Uh, it's been very, very hard, not just on our residents that live in those homes, but also our, our, our skilled nursing staff and, and the folks that work in those homes. I mean, they're heroes. Uh, the, the amount of extra work that they put in and the uh, level of care uh, that they have to take um, to keep COVID out of those homes is extensive. The renovations would also include new HVAC systems to push air through the facilities while also implementing antimicrobial surfaces to create a safer environment. It basically jumps as light years ahead in terms of being able to, to protect those, those vulnerable population in those homes. The Idaho Division of Veterans Services is regulated by the VA who will cover 65% of the cost to improve Idaho's veterans homes but the state has to cover the remaining 35%. That's where the $75 million comes from, and it would be the largest sum of money given to any agency in the history of Idaho. So timeline is, you know, we have to do our feasibility studies right now um, to actually design uh, what the new facilities would look like, get a estimated cost on uh, rebuilding those facilities. And then we submit those as a, as a grant program through the VA um, and as we get approved for those programs, then we can start building. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.